Hi, in the last tutorial, we talked about materials, where to find them, how to use them. But now let's talk about how to use them efficiently, working smart when you do something like that. I painted these two walls water, just to show you that it doesn't really matter what you paint it, as long as you enjoy the colors, the lines, the patterns, and you can, you can paint it that, that's fine. It could be made out of marble or something that looks like water, it's fine. But let me undo that painting of the wall. And let's talk about using materials efficiently. If, for instance, you wanted to build a window frame like I have on the side of this, you, if you wanted all sides of this window frame, the front, the sides, the top, the bottom, if you wanted all of those sides to be a color or a pattern, then it's better to paint that while it's flat and two-dimensional before you pull it out and make it three-dimensional because if you paint it first, they will all, all sides be pulled with that material on it. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna do another window using these same techniques that we uh, went over in previous tutorials, okay? So I'll start with a shape of the window. There's the shape of my window. Okay, now I wanna divide it with the line tool. Find the midpoint, run down, find the other midpoint, run across. And then what was the tool that we used to do this? Good, or maybe not, offset. So you offset this to the size, desired size you want. I'm gonna say one inch, offset that to one inch. Offset this to one inch. Okay, now that I've offset it, I'm going to erase my midpoint line. And now, if I'm gonna pull this, if I'm gonna push pull this window frame out, I really wanna paint it first, because then I don't have to spend time painting the side and the bottom and the top and the front and the back. You can just paint it all right now. So go to your materials and choose which material we want to paint this. I'm going to try something a little funky. Let's go to landscaping, fencing, and vegetation. And I'm going to paint this window frame something like these pebbles, these red pebbles here, just because that could be a fun look. Okay. Now, you'll see that if I push pull this, all walls of this get painted with that material. You just saved a lot of time because if you try to do this and then go around and paint each one of these, you'd have to paint one, two, three, four, five surfaces, not including the inside of each one of these sections. That's a time saver. I want you to work smart when you're doing something. Use your time well. OK, and that's using materials in a very smart way. Paint it before you push pull it and make it three dimensional. Yay.